Hey everyone, welcome to another video. In this section of the biochemistry, we'll discuss an important biochemical test in the detection of sugars in the urine, which is Benedict's reagent test. The aim is to detect the presence of sugars in the given sample of urine using the Benedict's reagent. The materials required will be a Benedict solution, which serves as a reagent in this test, the reagent is a blend of copper, sodium citrate, and sodium carbonate, along with copper 2-sulfate pentahydrate. Other test materials required would be a test tube, a test tube holder, a pipette, urine sample, and a burner. Now let's get on to the procedure of the Benedict's test. Using a pipette, accurately take 5 ml of Benedict's reagent, and slowly transfer it to the test tube. Take 5 ml of freshly collected urine by pipette and then add it to the test tube with Benedict's reagent. The test tube should be held securely with the test tube holder to heat it on the burner for two minutes. Now start observing the changes. On heating the sample, the presence of sugar is indicated in the sample of urine when a green precipitate is apparent in the test tube, which denotes traces of reducing sugars. Different precipitates are formed depending upon the sugar concentration in the urine. which can be blue or green orange, red and brick red each of these colors denote different types of sugars the blue precipitate denotes that there is no sugar in the urine, while the green precipitate shows that there are traces of reducing sugars. The orange and red denotes that there is moderate amounts of reducing sugars, while brick red precipitate denotes that there are large amounts of reducing sugars. That concludes the Benedict's test for detecting reducing sugars in the urine. 